I joined to the company to Aguas de Valencia in August 2015, step by step, slowly, with a lot of question, a lot of knowledge. We start submitting different tenders, approaching different clients. We have been growing till now. Just now we are 60 people in the company. Uh, we have a subcontractor of 150 people and we have two companies. To be a technical manager, what you have to do is just, you are, I mean, I'm managing all the projects that we are having in the, in the company here in, in the country. So, uh, all the all the contracts and the, and the opportunities that we are uh, we are studying or we are developing, it's uh, like more managing people. I gain a lot in my my professional career. It's uh, dealing with different cultures, different with different requirements. The project that uh, we are handling now is a project that we are working uh, in a joint venture. It's was the Valencia Qatar branch and Mesh Qatar joint venture. And uh, this contract is based in the operational maintenance of one third of the drainage facilities of Asgal. That means drainage facilities has been divided in three areas, uh, north, south and west, and we are the responsible to operate and maintain west area in a contract of 10 years. Earlier uh, in 2020, the catchment zone of Qatar West was awarded to a joint venture between MACE and Aguas de Valencia. We call it AVM-GV. So in this zone, there is several assets, and the main asset is this plant, which is the biggest treatment plant in Qatar, uh, with a capacity of 280,000 cubic meters per day, and a capacity that will be upgraded to 350,000 cubic meters per day in early 2022, to be ready, basically, to receive all the flow for the World Cup. Recently, well, a few months ago, we started a new project, very innovative project as well, related to intelligent irrigation, which is uh, based on artificial intelligence. So with this project, which is uh, for uh, the Ascal Public Works Authority, in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, Municipality and Environment. So this is the first project in Qatar uh, they both are working together, so it's very important for the whole country. And it's also helping the country to, to be more, more green, no? to be more sustainable and to, to be more focused in the environmental. You, do you need how to deal with different nationalities? They do, their mind is different, uh, but you can adapt. So my main uh, objective is to ensure that the sewage water will be treated in order to produce a, a, a treated water uh, that will be compliant to the quality standards of the Ministry of Environment. And uh, this water will be reused for irrigation of the city of Doha, as well as for the agriculture. So the, the main challenge for us is we took over in July uh, 2020, and it's mean like we have to develop all our management system at all level. So this is a real challenge because we are starting from the beginning, let's say. In addition to all this development of management systems, we have to fulfill our contractual requirement. So the load of work is quite huge for the first year and hopefully in the coming years, little by little, this load will be reduced. My challenge is to have to to contract with the main governmental entity ASGAL. Currently we have, with operation and maintenance of five fly year. And on the other hand, Karama. Then what I would like is to, to do the same that we are doing in, in other cities in Spain. To manage whole cycle of the water in, in the country. That should be amazing. That is my, my goal.